Hello and welcome to the video for fourth grade for Wednesday, April the 22nd. This is going to cover our new lesson working with lines of symmetry. So um, to start with, what they wanted us to do uh, was kind of identify a couple things that are important about this. So a shape has a line of symmetry if it can be folded um, in a line so that two parts match equally. Um, so this part will become important, the equal part uh, will become important as we go through our lesson. So a fold line or line of symmetry divides a shape into two parts that are the same shape and size. Um, this can also be something that shows a reflection. So if I can figure out uh, where I have a piece of paper that I could demonstrate with this, um, I will do that. Okay, so let's pretend I've got this. So um, I am not going to fold it this direction, and I'm not going to fold it this direction, but I'm going to fold it, try to fold it diagonally. <laughs> and so if I were to look at my diagonal fold. This is kind of like the start of making a paper football. So when I showed you guys how to do that in third grade, um, we don't always have an even match. So it is possible for some shapes to do the diagonal one, but it has to be exactly even. And so if you look, if you can see it well enough, let me actually change my um, perspective so you can see this. So there is this little tiny little bit on top that is not going to match uh, when I fold that down diagonally. And if I were to try to make it fold so that the corners touched, we might be able to say that we have something um, where we have this extra bit here and this extra bit here. Um, so depending on how you do it, it is possible um, but there will be things that will be much easier uh, to make uh, diagonal lines of symmetry with. And we'll, we'll have a couple of those during this lesson. So I'm not going to take the time to ask you to trace or draw or anything like that. Let's go over to our share and show. Um, so number one, we start with a diagonal line of symmetry. And so we go from one corner of the shape to the other. We know that as a rectangle, this would be considered... Um, an even or symmetrical shape if we also drew a line through here or drew a line horizontally. So we could make one vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. So this one would be a yes, as I'm trying to get my pen back. I'll put a Y for yes. Uh, number two, or sorry, number two, um, that one would also be um, a line of symmetry that would be going vertical. Number three, uh, we would be going through a person's, uh, what looks like a person's face. Um, one half should, if it goes directly through the middle, uh, one half should match the other, and it does. Uh, number four, I'm going to do a couple of these extra because this won't take very long. We have a line that goes through the middle of the shape, and we have roughly the same amount above as we have below um, in the sense that we go directly through the shape. But the amount that we have here and the shape of it here is far different from here. So we have a line that goes through the middle, but it is not a line of symmetry. We could do a line of symmetry vertically for that. Uh, number five, yes or no. Uh, this one will be a yes. We could also do one that goes from the left to right. And potentially, we could even do one that goes diagonally at a certain angle. So we'll put yes for that. Number seven. If we had made this line exactly in the middle so that we have the same amount on the left and right side, or we go through the middle this way, then it would have been a line of symmetry. Um, so that one will be a no. Uh, number nine. So we do not have a symmetrical shape. So we have something that's different on this side at the bottom than what we have on this side. So even though we have a line going directly through the middle, that is not going to be a line of symmetry. Uh, number 10 could be. Number 11 also looks like it could be. I'm going to zoom in on this just a little bit um, because I'm having difficulty telling. But what I am seeing is that this part of the point is thinner and this part is thinner 
then this particular arrow is and this particular part of the shape. So if both of these things were the same, um, instead of this side being, or this part being thinner than this part, then this would be a line of symmetry. So I would say no for that one. Um, and then for the letter I, and so this is for number 13, um, which best describes the symmetry? So we could potentially go corner to corner through this and make a diagonal one. That's probably the worst of the three options. Um, either going left to right um, horizontally or top to bottom vertically uh, would be the two easiest ways to show that. But um, I will try and see if I can do this really quickly. Um, and I may need to zoom in a little bit to get this angle exactly right. But in a situation where I can get this to line up evenly, and then draw along here, make my ruler go away, I would have a mirror of each other across this particular line. Um, so diagonally, even though um, it's going to be a mirror reflection instead of even in the same sense that a couple of these other ones are, like um, number 10 would be an even reflection. We could probably do the same thing diagonally with this and we would have mirror opposites of each other. So this one could work diagonally, much better to do it. Uh, either vertically or horizontally. So uh, that's the lesson for today. I will be going ahead and recording the homework video. I will again be available um, for our conference calls or um, kind of office hours, um, as well as answering questions on Google Classroom. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And I hope you have a great day. I will see you tomorrow.